If you want to get more views, more subscribers, earn more money on your YouTube channel, we've been talking for the past few weeks about how important it is to use the audience retention graphs to increase the amount of watch time that someone spends watching your videos. Today, let's talk about what happens when they get to the end. Hi Tim, how should I use the end cards? Because if my subs watch my latest video, they won't click the end card. How do I get it so everyone has something to click? And what is the best template? I currently play a preview next to the clickable icon. Hey guys, my name is Tim Schmoyer and welcome to Video Creators. This channel is all about helping you grow your YouTube audience so you can spread a message that reaches people and changes their lives. I've been doing this on YouTube since 2006 as a way of introducing my girlfriend at the time to my family back home. <laughs> and then I married that girl and we got seven kids and it's been awesome. And here we are still 12 years later still doing YouTube and teaching you guys how to do it as well. Now in order to reach people and change their lives, you need to get people to engage with your content watching more of your videos for longer periods of time. That's when Google's really gonna surface your content to more and more people. So if you missed the videos we did the past few weeks, check out the links in the description below, get caught up on those about optimizing your content so people watch to the end. And then once people are at the end, how do you optimize your end screen so as many people will click and go on to another video and then to another video and another video as possible. I have a few different ideas to share with you, but first of all, let me tell you what doesn't work, and that is just tacking on an extra 20 seconds at the end of your video for those end screens to show up. It's just nothing but some background music playing. Those don't work because by the time they come on screen for someone to click, you've already given your viewers plenty of signals that this video is over. Most likely all of your viewership has already abandoned that video and no one's around to watch that end screen anymore anyway by the time it appears on screen. What you need to do instead is integrate that end screen into your actual content so that people are still watching the video when the options appear for them to click on something else to go watch on your channel. Now you can only show these end screen elements for the final 20 seconds of your video. So there's a lot that needs to happen in these 20 seconds. Let me give you two different end screen ideas that I've seen work pretty well that'll get people to click and watch more of your videos. Now the first end card strategy is one that I've been doing here on this channel for a long time, which is I got 20 seconds to show the end screen. So the first five or 10 seconds, I'm wrapping up the content while you're still watching. And then I only have like 10 or 15 15 seconds at the end to actually give my call to actions and wrap up that video. I know it feels a little bit weird to wrap up your video in only like 10 or 15 seconds, but this isn't television. People aren't passively watching. They're actively engaged. On YouTube, it works best if you leave the viewer feeling like, what? This is over, like I wanted more, why is it over already? And you're like, exactly, click another video and keep going. A second end screen strategy requires that you wrap up the video even more quickly. If you have 20 seconds for the end screens, the first five or 10 is you just still delivering content and then you just boom, it's over, you end it. And then you go into showing a 10 to 15 second teaser video for the next video you want them to watch. So you're showing that in that space instead with an arrow maybe that clicks to like watch this video here with some teaser text or something, all to get that viewer to click and watch that video. Some creators have found success simply by showing that teaser trailer of the next video they want the viewer to watch. Others have found success by actually giving a verbal call to action, like, hey, if you wanna watch or learn more about this, then click this video right over here, and doing like, and pointing and actually indicating and telling the viewer where to go and what to do next. Now, it's hard to do all of this within 10 or 15 seconds while also like asking people to subscribe and to comment and to like and to go to your website and follow you here and all like you can't do a lot of call to actions which you shouldn't be anyway this is forcing you to pick just the most important call to action which is arguably to extend the viewing session and get more watch time on your videos which might even be more important than getting people to subscribe the metric you want to watch in your youtube analytics is the click-through rate on these end screen cards that will help you determine what's effective in getting people to click what isn't what did your audience respond to? Which of these two strategies maybe works best for you? And to follow my own advice, click right there to watch the video about the two elements behind almost every explosively growing YouTube channel that almost no one is talking about. Subscribe and I'll see you over there.